This video has been very long, so I will probably split it up into two sections, um, just for the sake of keeping it short for um, people that have very short attention spans. You know, sometimes it happens. everybody on YouTube. I hope you're all doing well, you're all being well, and you're doing research on this COVID-19 because there's more stuff that's coming to light, um, like Italy doing autopsies and the WHO not being happy about it. But you know, there's a bunch of information out there anyway. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is, um, hold on, right there. So they're done. They are done. The doors are done. They got plexiglass, they look great. They're very, very functional. Um, they work really good. I gotta make a, um, a latch to close them and so forth um, when there's really bad storms. But we had a really big storm the other day, um, which brought a lot of wind, a lot of rain. It was just a huge microburst that came in. And um, I ended up, I just happened to be in here because I was with uh, that guy right there and um, getting the buckets for their dinner and I decided to shut the doors. It was amazing. It cut all the wind out of here. All the rain just hit the windows like it was supposed to. I'll see if I have some pictures. Yeah, so it did everything it was supposed to do. And um, yeah, so they're done. They're beautiful, I think they are. And this clip is to show you exactly how I did it over the course of a weekend. So I'm just gonna throw it all together. And um, depending on how long it is, depends on whether I make a part one and a part two. But um, let's go, I wanna show you how this all worked out. Well, I hope you like it so far. Um, trying to trying to document everything on how I did this because I'll probably forget how to do the other side. <laughs> but I finally got um, that other bolt in. It wasn't very easy. It was a lot of drilling, a lot of headache. But I finally got it in. It's up there. It's good. And then I went ahead and what I was going to do is I was just going to put that one side up and then I was gonna build the door on it. Um, but it's just me today, so I didn't. Um, I built it on the ground. So there is the finished product. Um, not 100% finished because there's a lot of places that um, the finish work, like um, this part here, that is that piece, so I have to cut it and, and fit it. And then, of course, the plexiglass goes in here, um, and I'll cut it and fit it, which I can do that while the door is on, and I can just use the ladder back and forth. So, um, yeah, so, whew, yeah, I'm a little hot and sweaty. So I got to figure out how I'm going to get that over there by myself. I have a feeling straps are in my future. <laughs>
day three. It is Monday and uh, what a morning. I've already got a whole bunch of work done. But uh, look at this. It's up. Uh, husband and I put it up last night because I couldn't get it up all by myself. Um, it was so heavy. Oh my gosh, that thing is so heavy. So I do still have to put another one of these boards over here. Um, and I might put another one on the bottom, but I haven't decided yet, but, um, definitely another one of these over here. And, um, and then I've got to waterproof it. Um, I've got some sealant that I was going to use in the run-in, I mean, in, in the wash bay, the wash bay. <laughs> um, and I haven't done it yet. So this will be a good test as to, you know, how to do it. I'll just paint it on instead of spray it because if I spray it, it'll go everywhere. But um, it does work. We put the ladder there just to keep it shut because it did rain last night and we didn't want to have too much um, wind and didn't want it banging and stuff like that. But it's up there. It's good. Now, lessons learned <laughs> out of all of this whole video. Oh my gosh, he, he's going to have a fit when he sees this. So out of all the lessons that I have learned building this, I've never built anything so massive in my entire life and then had to try to hang it. Um, without a tractor, which is unbelievable. Um, I'm going to build the frame, that part, the easy part, on the ground. We're going to hang it, and then I'm going to put all the other stuff on there. <laughs> um, that's the plan for the next door. He's just hanging out, and she's hanging out with him. That's snowy, Mr. Darcy. Oh, That's so cute. Okay, back to me. <laughs> um, but today, I'm going to take this. I, what I realized I needed to do was um, when I mocked up the, the bottom piece here to the bottom piece there, um, I noticed there was a huge gap. So what I did is I bought um, another block of wood, and I'm going to put it on either side here. And I'm going to put on either side there, and then I'm going to mount it to there, and then, you know, bolt it to the top. So I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it. And it'll keep it straight, and it'll keep it um, level. So, without further ado, let's get going. <laughs> Toes. No, toes. Let's go. <laughs> She's going to get a bath. <laughs> okay, so this is what happens. Um, apparently, I measured a little wrong. Um, I got lucky on that one where everything kind of lined up just right. But on this one, um, I measured that one probably correct. 
and that one and that one and that one on the wrong side. So basically, that one is correct, and I'll show you. So on this one, I'm literally four inches too high. So what I need to do is move these ones up four inches to bring the whole door down. So, cause they all fit here, just all fine. They're there. I mean, they're all in there, but um, the door is way too high. So I gotta move this up four inches and that one up four inches and that one up four inches and then that'll slide the top one down to where it belongs and our door will be fine. So we're not gonna do that today. Well, we might do it later, but right now we are waiting for my neighbor to show up with the mower. He's gonna mow the pasture and this is done. It's all nice and neat and uh, We'll go from there. So that's that for now. One little mistake. No big deal.
just like that, we have ourselves a window. Okay, so we had uh, a couple problems with this particular one, um, mainly because that board is crooked. Um, the board itself, this board here is warped. As you can see, it didn't, it's just not straight. So it gave me trouble when I was putting that piece together, because as you can see, it doesn't line up completely flat uh, like it does down there. So it looks kind of funky up on the top because it, the board itself was not straight. So that was a problem on my part, but we, uh, I worked through it and, um, I'm not going to worry about the top, but I did put some, uh, a ton of wood putty down here to try to, um, block off. See, I mean, it was really way off. So I might do it for the top, um, but it doesn't look too, too bad. Um, at least not far away it doesn't. And maybe it looked funky when I put the stain on it, but um, we'll see from there. So that's what it looks like. And um, I'll probably put like a planter right here. That would be really kind of neat. I won't do it right now, but eventually that's, that's a perfect spot for one. Um, put some pansies in there or something like that. Um, I don't have the plexiglass up on that yet because I've got to finish staining it. So I'm not going to put the plexiglass up until I finish staining it. Um, and I did the back side of it. Uh, the other day I bought a new sprayer for the, um, for the, uh, stain. Would you go away, wasp? And it kind of came out pretty good. I like the color. I really like the color. Um, but it didn't, it clogged up. <laughs> As I got to the top, it clogged up. But it did the bottom and, and it made a mess over everything and I'm just really happy that we have um, dirt on the floor <laughs> because it really made a mess everywhere. But um, I think the rest I'm gonna do with a, um, a rag to get all the little sections right there. Boy, that wind is really pushing on this door. <laughs> um, and uh, we'll take care of it that way. And then of course I gotta do the front. So that's gonna do that. So what I did, um, actually I'll just show you guys on this side. Um, I had to fur this out just a little bit farther because the plexiglass is um, 30 by 60. So I had to make sure that it was the right size. So um, I just furred it out, made a frame with two by fours using my dad's saw right there, which is awesome. He's been passed away for like six years now. And um, that was one of the things that um, before he passed, he asked everybody, you know, what is it of mine that you want? Which is, I hate it when they say that. Don't, if you're going to die, don't ever say that to your kids. Don't, don't just say, hey, you know, what do you want of mine? Because it makes us very awkward feeling knowing that, I know it makes you feel better that, you know, your stuff is going where, you know, people want it, but it puts us in a really weird situation. So, um, perhaps put up a list of stuff and then we'll put our initials next to it. <laughs> and that way it's a little less awkward, even for a dad and a daughter. So, um, anyway, I got his saw and it's, it's been wonderful. Um, and it made some really awesome cuts on the sides. So what I did is I used some plates to attach it on the side because I didn't have screws long enough to go directly straight up and down. And I figured it would give a little bit more support. And then because I wanted um, this section on the inside, like the inside of this part here, instead of on the outside, because I wanted the plexiglass to fit flush up against this, um, I used these really cool leftover like 90 degree angles that I pounded out flat. You've seen me do it in a couple of other videos. Um, and I just used those to attach them all. And it makes it super strong and I'm really, really loving the way it looks, especially on the outside. So it looks like a really, really great window. So, yeah. So that's what we're doing today on this one. Now, I've already kind of um, mocked up where I want the part to come out. And then the next step is to make the frame that I had there, that frame right here. So I've got the wood there. Um, and then, of course, the, the inserts there. So that's what we're going to do today. And hopefully we'll get it done and you guys won't fall over so much because of the wind. So let's get back to work. But there we go. We got ourselves a set of doors. This one doesn't stay open. I mean, closed, but we'll try to 
because it hits the top right there oh no look at that maybe it's this one that hits huh look what happened holy crap they don't hit anymore i wonder what happened huh oh there you go i got some doors on my on my barn now yay <laughs> Wow, that's so weird. I mean, that was like bashing it. Huh. Oh well. Well, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to make myself some breakfast and that's going to bash right into the side of the wall. Yeah, I've got to make some stoppers. <laughs> gets done and it has happened over quite a few days and now we've got our hay which you already saw in a previous video um, so you can put two and two together that I'm splicing this together <laughs> and I've got windows and I've got doors and they work and they're wonderful so it took a very long time to do it a lot of trial and error uh, a lot of patience a lot of measuring but I thankfully did not make a really bad cut to the point where I totally ruined a board. So I'm thankful for that and I'm thankful for you guys watching and uh, coming along with me to build these little, I want to say little, these doors, these monstrosities. And I thank you for putting up with all of my little videos of building instead of riding because that's what I seem to be doing an awful lot of, is building a lot of things. A lot of things. But then once all this is built, then I can go riding. So um, we were supposed to uh, have a little surprise for you guys. Um, and it kind of sort of fell through. But there might be another one in the works. So um, I'll just go ahead and tell you what was going to happen. Um, my hay guy, from the video, if you watched me when we got our hay delivered, uh, we all chatted and he had somebody that was looking to get rid of a couple of horses and we were going to take them in. We're not getting two additional horses onto the property. Um, but there is one at the kill lot that a lot of people have sent to me. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to get him or not. Uh, I have to really think about him. He's still available. He's kind of high priced and I hate paying kill price, kill pen prices for I'm going to think about it, but uh, I'll put a picture in of him here. So that's him. I'm not really sure. Um, I wanted to stay away from the Belgians, and uh, I want to stick with the Percherons and uh, like these guys here. Because um, I really like the breed. I like their personality. Um, but, you know, a horse that needs help and that I can help um, without going absolutely broke <laughs> on medical bills that I can uh, turn back into a great trail horse that somebody's going to really appreciate, then, you know, I'll, I'll consider it for sure. So um, that's the bill. Thank you very much anyway for watching and all that good stuff. And thank you for subscribing. All my new subscribers, thank you for commenting on all the videos too. I do appreciate them because I do look at them as often as possible. Um, it seems like I make a video once a week, but um, I'm trying to do more. 
but I've got all the building that we're doing and I run an eBay store and I'm trying to get the tack room finished so I can open up a tack shop there. Um, we've got so much going on. Plus, you know, building a website. I need help with. I don't know how to do it. Well, I do know how to do it. It doesn't look all that great, but I need more stuff in it. I need more stuff in my e-commerce store so I can get away from eBay. <laughs> or if you know how to do that, you know, set up a web store, um, a really good one that can drive traffic. Let me know, um, especially if you're if you're a big Amazon person. Let me know how that works out with you because I really need some help. Um, I can't do it all by myself. I will catch you guys later, and thank you again. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like my videos. That way we can get some um, wireless microphones and better cameras and better everything so we can grow our channel, and that'll be great because it'll be good for you. I can ride more instead of build stuff. I can pay somebody else to do it. <laughs> anyway, that's the plan. Um, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys another time on Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses.